had her kittens April 17th. And I had no idea where they were, but then I watched her and she went across the road to my neighbor's trailer and she had them under there. They didn't look very healthy at all from the day we found them and they eventually died. At that same time, the Grant's dog Smoochie gave birth to a litter of pups, but there was a problem. Smoochie didn't want anything to do with the puppies at all, her own. They would be lying around out at Smoochie's house out there and she would just drag them around with a chain and pay it no attention. Even their whines didn't mean anything to her when they were hungry. Miss Smoochie. I guess Miss Kitty, when after her kittens died, she felt the need that, while they were whining and all to go take over them. And so we came home one evening and there were five puppies missing. I said, where did five puppies go? And I was hunting them and then my neighbor told me that she saw Miss Kitty stealing them. I was sitting in here eating lunch and I heard the puppy start screaming. And it screamed and screamed and I finally got up to go see what it was. And that's when I came to the door and I saw Miss Kitty going across the yard with one of the little puppies in her mouth. And Miss Kitty went back and got another one and picked it up and she kept bringing them across the yard and she had all of them over there. I didn't believe it, but I looked up under the trailer and I heard them whining and they were up under the insulation. And then I had to cut them out. Oh God, she bit me. Miss Kitty, come here. She moved the cat and puppies to a safer location and phoned local television reporter, Teresa Dickey. And it was just amazing, I mean, to see this cat, you know, nursing uh, these puppies. And one of the comments that Missy made to me was that maybe if we could find someone who has some kittens and show them to Miss Kitty, she'll take care of them instead of the puppies. So when we did the story, we had a little tag at the end of our story asking our viewers to please, if any of you have any stray kittens, to please call the owner of this cat. A viewer saw it on the news and he had found these two abandoned kittens. And so we met and he brought them down here and she took right up with them, but she wouldn't leave the puppies alone. She wasn't gonna give the puppies up. I've never seen anything like it before in my life. And I've been around, around animals all my life. She loves them all. Yes, she does. She honestly thinks these puppies are hers. I was afraid that she might not have enough of milk to feed all these puppies. And so she called her veterinarian. We told Missy that it would probably be okay for the cat to nurse the puppies. It's pretty unusual for a cat to adopt a litter of puppies. We see cats adopting other kittens, and we see dogs adopting other puppies. Very seldom do you see one species nursing off a different species. The volume of milk, I would think, would be the most critical thing for her to have to produce for a litter of puppies versus a litter of kittens. So we did recommend to her that they had to force the mother to lay down and really to accept the puppies. We let the puppies nurse the dog also. Miss Kitty is a perfect mother. Do you think you're a dog or a cat? Huh? Cats are mysterious creatures. And they'll do things, you know, that you would never expect them to do. This cat didn't have anything to mother and she wanted something to mother and found these pups. <laughs> She took over. <laughs> and in the process, Miss Kitty revealed a side of nature that values life over differences and love over natural adversity. It's a small miracle and a lesson for us all. Her and that puppy seem to really love each other.